fashion show for me is kind of like inspiration, particularly this year since I'm not shopping. Hi there, Sharon here, Ageless Restyling. Thank you for joining me. Now today, <laughs> I was looking at the Carolina Herrera show. If you've not watched her show, watched her fashion, please do. Her fashion is so elegant, so beautiful. I mean, stunning, 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 stunning for the absolutely elegant woman. So I was, off, as I said, I was watching the show and I said, hmm, let me see if I could go in my closet and recreate some of those styles. Now, obviously, we're going to lose some of the aesthetics. But it's fashion show for me is kind of like inspiration, particularly this year since I'm not shopping, especially this year since I'm not shopping this year. Fashion shows are going to be inspirations and to go in my closet and see if I can um, restyle some of the items that I have. That's what fashion show will be for me for 2023 because, you know, I'm not shopping this year. So that's what I did with the Carolina Herrera show. I picked three items that I am going to try and recreate to the best of my ability using items from my closet. I'm gonna put up pictures of the items so you could kind of compare <laughs> and let me know how I do. I will tell you from the bat, one of the beauty, one of the things that I loved about the Carolina Herrera Fashion Show for 2023, um, spring, summer 2023, was the sleeves, the ballooning, ballooning effect of the sleeves. Love it, love it, love it. I don't have any tops like that. So that is lost. That will be lost in the tops that I show. But I think I did okay otherwise from that, but you will let me know. So the first thing I'm gonna try and recreate is a black and white, um, a white shirt, a white button down with a beautiful balloon sleeve. My shirt don't have that balloon sleeve and some black tapered pants. But what made it so interesting is the belt. Obviously, I don't have that belt <laughs> that she has, but I, I had something that I used to recreate it, and I'll show you. So let's get started with the, um, whoops. <laughs> let's get started with the pants. So I, ha I, I have these pants. These are actually tuxedo pants, but there's, I thought they would work because they are straight legs. I don't have a whole lot of, um, you know, to the ankle straight leg pants because I like my pants really, really long, especially because I wear high heels. So most of my pants are wide leg or, you know, a little bit wide, and but they're very, very long because I, you know, I wear high heels, so I, I account for that. But I found these pants, and these are tuxedo pants that I thrifted and I've not worn them, but I always believe you need to have a little tuxedo pants in your closet just in case you may want to do a look. And look at it, I wanted to do a look and these came in handy. The pants that she's using is not tuxedo pants, they're regular um, black pants, and I don't think they have the flap in the panel, they're rather straight. But for my purposes, this is what I have. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to use to try and um, recreate that look. I thought it was that look is so elegant and simple and classy and you know it's 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 the simplicity of it that kind of like like oh yeah but that belt I think that belt just kind of like put the outfit on a completely different level and so let me grab my white shirt like I said my white shirt doesn't have the balloon effect, you know, like the sh her shirt, but it's what I have in my closet. <laughs> so it's what I'm going to use to try and recreate that look. Let's put the shirt on. What I thought of, and I noticed that in, in hers, which is something I never, ever, ever, ever do. I never button all the way up to the top. Because <laughs> I always think, I'm it's going to choke me. But we're going to do that today. Because as you can see, 
<laughs> like I'm getting choked now. <laughs> Let's see if I could do this with my nails. Y'all know how I struggle with buttoning with my <laughs> with my fingernails. Okay, can I do this? <laughs> Am I gonna need help buttoning up this shirt? <laughs> I just might. I might have to button this off camera and come back. But wait, let's try one more time. Uh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Did I get it? No, I didn't. Okay, hold on a minute here. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is hard to button. My goodness. This top one. Oh, I think I got it. <laughs> Woo! Buttoning that top one was rather challenging. Yeah, um, as you can see in the inspiration photograph, it's buttoned all the way to the top. <laughs> Which is a different look because that's something I would not do. Oh my God, having to button all of these is annoying me. Y'all are probably saying, sure, and cut the nails. And I'm, my response is no. <laughs> And I think the reason why I'm having another issue is because this is a men's shirt. And I don't know if you noticed, but men's shirt button on the opposite than women's shirt. So that even makes it even more challenging for me because it's a men's shirt and not the way I'm used to buttoning shirts. But I love a men's button down. I thrift them all the time. <laughs> Well, used to, not 2023. My sister jokingly said, the men, men are going to celebrate now that I'm not shopping in 2023 because now they'll be able to get their stuff. Because <laughs> Sharon won't be in this thrift store <laughs> going in the men's section. I'm trying to button this. I think if I could button this, it would kind of give it sort of kind of balloon effect. But I can't be bothered because it's going to be a struggle. I know it's going to be a struggle. But let's pretend <laughs> that this is buttoned. Okay, so now you see that belt. You see that beautiful belt. Oh my gosh, I love the belt. And I think the belt is what make that outfit even more interesting. I don't have that belt. But what I do have is this tie, which is eerily, eerily, am I saying that right? Whatever the word is, similar to the, um, the, the photograph. Oh, this, is, this doesn't have loops, okay. So what I'm going to do is this. Let's see if I can make this work. You know, necessity is the mother of invention. <laughs> so I have a whole bunch of men ties and you're probably wondering, Sharon, why do you have a whole bunch of men ties? Well, I thrifted them with the intention of creating something with them. And I've had these ties for maybe five years. And I never did create anything with them. But sometimes they come in really handy with uh, for other things. Let's see. I'm trying to pull this around. Yeah, tighten that. It's the look of, of the, um, the color of the belt that I wanted. Okay. So the plan is, <laughs> is to pull it around. And then, this is my plan. Pull it around. And then pin it on the inside. Can I get it? Obviously, if I was getting dressed to go out, I would do this a lot better. But this is kind of like show <laughs> and tell to see if I could re kind of re recreate that look with items that I have already in my possession. Okay, zip up. Let me get the shoes. These shoe wearing, I want to say, I think she, they're wearing like kitten heel pumps. I don't have that, I don't do that. So I'm just gonna wear, Certain things have to be true to my personal aesthetic and still leather high heels is Sharon. So that's what I'm going to do. So kind of here is that look. 
you know, obviously the sleeves are not buttoned because I can't button it. I'm going to need help to button it and I have no one here to button it for me. But, and obviously, the, my sleeves don't have the beautiful balloon effect of her sleeve. But what I found very interesting, why I like that look, was the belt. And what I just thought that belt, that color, was so interesting. So, this is my recreation of Carolina Herrera. <laughs> her white shirt, black pants, with the beautiful blue multicolor belt. Tell me how I did using what I have in my closet and using a men's tie as my belt. So here is the look. Let me know. Okay, so the next look is something that I would never have done if I had not seen it on the Carolina Herrera fashion show. I would never ever have done it. Now obviously, her look is a lot different than mine because I don't have that print. However, I have this beautiful skirt that I had made when I went to Gambia about, oh my God, how long was that now? Six, seven years ago? So I had this skirt made when I went to Gambia. I would never have mixed this skirt with this top. So that is what that show did. It's kind of like made me think out the box about mixing the print of the shirt. So that's what I'm going to do with the second look. And let's see how it looks. I haven't tried it on. I What I did, I just looked in my closet, see what, oh Lord, I'm choking myself. <laughs> oh goodness, see what striped shirt that I had that could go with this print. And this was the one that I had, but this was the one that I pulled out. So, let us see how this look. You know, the print in the um, Carolina Herrera skirt is a much softer print, you know, obviously. But my print is more dynamic, <laughs> as I'm going to call it. Oh my goodness. And if this works out, I might wear this skirt again. I've only worn this skirt one time since I've had it. One time. As my mother used to say, one day a day a time. So this may be my opportunity to wear this skirt again. If I like the way how it's this look. Y'all, yeah, me and buttons. And again, because they're men's shirt and the button is on the opposite side, it just makes it even more challenging. <sighs> me think this is going to be the last button I button up. Can we just can't bother with the button then? Sure. Ooh, struggling. This is the last but mega button. Come on, Sharon. This is the last one. <laughs> Are you guys out there laughing at me? It's okay. I'm laughing at myself. <sighs> All right. So obviously the shoes is going to change on this look. So let me put the skirt on over the pants. I should put on some um, body smoothers. Okay. You know what? I hope this skirt can fit me. I hope it does. <laughs> be funny. I've only worn this skirt once. <laughs> and this, I had this made seven years ago. And it was custom made to my waist then. Let's see. This could be hilarious.
the waist was a little bit too big. And so they had to um, take it in. So there, I have some room, <laughs> just in case. I'm not as tiny as I once was seven years ago in the waist. Oh, geez, I'm red. <laughs> Let's see. The moment of truth. I'm almost afraid. Okay. Come on, Sean. Put the big girl panties on. And see this. Let's see. Okay. You know what? It just might fit. Let's see. It's going to be tight. <laughs> It is tight. I keep trying to zip this up. Okay, I can't get it all the way up. It's tight. If someone could zip it up for me, oh my goodness. But I'm not gonna go through all that. The good thing is <laughs> I have room to take it out so it fit me properly. Now, I would never, <clears throat> ever, let me get the shoes, because on there they had brown sandals. I, I just realized I don't have like, any two-strap brown sandals. The closest thing I have to a brown sandals are these. Where did I put them? Oh, here they are. My Steve Madden. These are the closest thing I have, which is surprising to me, but maybe because I don't wear brown a whole lot, that's why I don't have a two strap brown sandals. So this is my recreation of the Carolina Herrera look. Obviously my skirt is a lot more dynamic than hers with the print, but you see, we have that slit. Hers has a belt. I think it's a belt. Mine have a really wide cummerbund. And obviously her top is different, but what, like I said, what it did is made me think, hey, how about mixing a stripe, you know, stripe with the skirt? I would never, ever, ever have done that. I have worn this with um, a little white tank top, but I would never, ever have picked a stripe I'd style it with this, but I actually like this. I'm looking in the mirror. It's different. I think it made the outfit, the skirt interesting. This is why I like looking at the fashion show. It just gives you ideas. You know, how you could go in your closet and recreate what you already have. Tell me what you think. Would you do this? You know, the stripe with this beautiful print? Yeah or nay, I want to hear. And you also found out Sharon waist is a little bit bigger than it was seven years ago. <laughs> but that's okay. Like I said, when this dress was made for me seven years ago, it was too big. So I, it, they had to take the waist in a bit. So I have some room to play with. Thank God. <laughs> I could get it let, let out and then it'll fit. But I really like this look. I really like this. <laughs> So I'm going to have to get this taken out so it fits me properly and I can wear it. So this is the second recreation of Carolina Herrera 2023 fashion show. Let me know what you think. Okay, the last one that I'm going to do, it's not an exact, let me take these heels off, it's not exact, but what it is, it's very, it's the print it's very similar now that one I'm gonna have to completely get naked and put this put the dress on so I'll be right back and show you that one okay so we're back <laughs> and I'm putting on the dress and <laughs> that um, inspired me Oops. that the Carolina Herrera fashion show inspired me to find well 
as you can see this dress this dress still has its tag on it it's a Betsy Darden sink so I have not worn it and I actually thrifted this dress I'm trying to pull the lining down I actually thrifted this dress new with tags from where <laughs> my favorite thrifting spot labels and I think I thrifted this about a year ago and I wanted it for a summer vacation yes it was a year ago not last year the year before and I haven't worn, obviously I haven't worn it still have the tags on it now it's not an exact because the Cavalina Herrera is a tube dress however this the black and white stripe made me go in my closet and I said, let me see what I have black and white stripe. And I found this completely, completely, completely forgot about this. Now they have this style with some uh, two strap sandals, which is about the way it should be styled. You know, very simple. I'm not going to do it all the way up. I just want to kind of get an idea. So I have, I think, two beach vacations, two beach vacations planned this year. And I have to wear this dress up one of them. So here it is. You know, it's not an exact dupe, but it's the black and white stripe. What do you think? And looking at that at that fashion show, looking at the items, made me find this. I'm like, wait a minute, you have this one that will kind of fit the bill. I'm gonna wear this this year. I'm gonna wear this on the beach somewhere this year. Yes, you will see it again. So <clears throat> this is me trying to recreate some of the items from the Carolina Herrera 2020. 2023 fashion show. I hope you enjoyed this. I love to play dress up. I look at the fashion show, go to my closet, and see how I can recreate the look. It will never be exactly the same, but it just gets your inspiration juices flowing. At least it does me. It gets my inspiration juices flowing and helps me to try and recreate what I have in my closet. Thank you for joining me. If you've not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. You know, 2023 is a no shop year for me. I'm going to be work, um, wearing and styling the items that I have in my closet. And I would love for you to take this journey with me. So, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.